Yeah, but I also just thought I'd have a quick look at some of the choppers. So I'm just painting my garage floor at the moment. So a couple of days to dry. So I thought, you know what, get some of the bicycles um, out here and just film a couple for YouTube. So here we go, the first one. So this is the Rally Chopper Mark II Sprint GT. Obviously it's in green. Um, all I did is um, I brought this from somewhere like Spain. Um, there's a video on my YouTube channel from you know a number of years ago. Um, and those guys took it apart for me, I brought, brought it over, managed to unseize it all, apart from the um, seat posts and sissy bar. I did try and unseize it, but it, it felt rock solid, so I've left it. And so I can just about ride it, so I might try and unseize it at some point. I still want to damage anything and break anything, because I know it's rare. Otherwise, um, put on some new tyres. So these are the correct spec, um, thinner tyres. All round there. Um, I think I put a new, yeah, a new chain on it. Um, there's no parcel shelf on the back, not sure if that's standard or not, but um, yeah, no parcel shelf. And you can tell the g g genuine sprint is they have a much taller frame here. Just say, for example, that's say, you know, three and a half inches, for example, versus a normal one, which is much smaller. It's probably about, you know, about, about a third roughly of the size, I'd say. So yeah, drop handlebars, thin seats, um, free speed again. This one here is dated from um, September 73 on there. Yeah, and it's, it's nice, nice, I love it. And move on to this one. So we've got a Mark II Chopper Pinky, um, five speed, not sure how to date this one because it doesn't have the same um, Sterney Archer mechanism at the back. I guess, you know, the date might be stamped on there somewhere, possibly. But I mean, I know they made them around 1975. So mega rat look, totally rideable. Um, as you see here, I've unseized this years ago so it's right in my height cable ties down there just so it just when i'm lifting it up doesn't pop, doesn't pop off and all the springs fall out that way i can actually ride this one there quite comfortably um got a bit of a bend there on the front fork um obviously not much paint i've left it really super ratty on purpose nice little sticker there saying i'm um, something made in england little crown um, put a bottle holder on just so I can, when I go into when I go into my local shopping area, I can just have a coffee, cycle it around, whatever I need to do, that sort of thing. Um, came didn't come with a bell. My friend gave it to me. Thank you very much. Put that on there. So it looks good. Did come with a Hurrit Speedo though. And if you look down here, it's got the Hurrit Speedo part um, down here. There's no um, cable because the cable. Um, I think it was just seized on Muller. I can't remember, but I've I've, I've kept it. To get another one at some point. Um, and then this part here, I'm not sure if that's part of this or of the cable runs in it or something, but it's obviously in that same area, but I got this about years and years ago, so I can't remember. Um, got all the rally bits and bobs on there. So yeah, love it. Got one, one or two spooky dokies on the front. And a bit of a nice paint here. So yeah, really nice. Let me flick around to this side. So we've got another Mark II. So, um... One of the yellow ones, fizzy, fizzy uh, yellow, fizzy lemon. I can't remember now what it's called, but mega rat look. Getting totally rideable. It's got it's running actually. Um, not the original tire, I, I suspect, but it's running and and uh, the tire that it came with. So it's a mega mega old tire that would be. Um, you can see that it's actually a bit flat, but it does it does actually have, both of them do actually hold air. And I I, I ride this one around as well, but say not for about a year or about a year or two, which is a shame. But yeah, I'm actually going to um, clean it up now, pump the tyres up. Might even order a new chain as well, actually. But it's just, I like it, it's just because it's absolutely disgustingly bad. Um, handlebars are bent. But it just makes it part of the fun, you know, when you're riding this thing around. You know, I mean, I know I can probably unseize it and all that sort of stuff and twist it. But it kind of just adds to, adds to the character, you know. It's only original, well, this badly original once. Comes with a horn as well. Um, obviously the white gear, the white um, covers, white covers on here. Again, original bits that, that some kid has added, you know, back in the 70s or 80s. Um, this one here, I think, was dated um, uh, July 75. Yeah, you can just see it's just super battered. Yeah, but I really like it. It's cool. Yeah, and there's a few more there. A nice um, space blue. Most original stickers and stuff, that's nice and clean, that's nice. So if I want to do the most clean bike, that's the one to use, these these three. And then you've got the um the red one, ready orange one in there, which is my first bike, which I absolutely love. 
Spooky dokies on it. And then another really nice, quite a nice pretty yellow as well. With the um, the Bambi bell. Cool. There we go. Excellent. Cheers. That's a quick follow up. I actually felt motivated to clean them as well. <laughs> so I'm going to plan on using the pinky uh, this week. So give it a quick wash over, pop the tyres up. There we go. I might actually look at the yellow one and getting some new tyres for it. To make that way at least and I can kind of use it more, plus maybe a new chain as well. But this one here just sort of epitomises, you know, what, what a kid did to it. Probably, you know, they were probably um, in the 70s, I expect, or maybe early 80s, but by that point, BMXs were coming in. You know, so you'd imagine those modifications possibly were done, you know, around 75. There we go. Also, this one here went abroad to um, like Spain, I think it was. Cool. There we go.